square roots. So this method that I'm about to explain is applicable only for perfect squares. All right. So let us start. Before we start, as I said, square roots, you need to remember squares of some basic numbers. So just the squares of 1 to 10. I'll write it down for you. 2 square 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. Now, let us do the square root of 1, 2, 9, 6. This is a perfect square I'm telling you beforehand. I want to find out the square root of this number. Observe that the last digit is 6. And the last digit will be 6. For which number? If the number ends in 4, or if the number ends in 6, there is no other number that ends in 6, the square of which ends in 6. So our final answer should be ending in either 4 or ending in either 6. Let us check which is the correct answer. Next step. We will cover two digits from the right hand side. We will make pair of two two digits. So let's cover this. 96 is covered. I have 12. Square root of 12. Guys, 12 lies between the squares of which two numbers? 12 lies between the squares of 3 and 4. So it is clearly less than 4 square, right? That means it is not equal to 4. So the answer has to be 3. So my answer would be either 34 or 36. How to decide which is the correct answer? 34 or 36? So what we are going to do is we are going to check the mid number that is 35 and square of 35 is very easy guys. It was 5 squared 25, 3 into the next number 4 which is 12. So 1225. Our number is 1296 which is greater than 1225. So the answer has to be greater than 35. The answer is 36. Done. Square root of 1, 2, 9, 6 is 36. Let's take a few examples. Let's take another example. Square root of 2, 4, 0, 1. All right. So, this number ends in 1. The square of which number ends in 1? The square of 1 or the square of 9? So, our answer should end in either 1 or 9. Now, I'll cover two digits. I have 24. 24 lies between the squares of which two numbers? In the squares of which two number? 4 square and 5 square, right? So 24 is clearly less than 25. Definitely it, ha it has to be, you know, 4 something. So I'll take the lower number that is 4. Our answer will be either 41 or 49. See, it becomes so easy. And after this, the final step is to check about uh, check for the square of 45, which is 25 and 4 into 5, which is 20, 2025. Guys, 2025 is clearly less than this number. That means 2409 has to be a square of number which is greater than 45. Our answer will be 49. Done. I hope this is clear. Let's take one more example. Square root of. 1, 2, 7, 6, 9. Let's start. So 9. The square of which two numbers ends in 9? It is either 3 or 7. So our answer should end in either 3 or 7. Step number 2. Cover two digits. I'll take 127. 127 lies between the squares of which two numbers? It lies between 11 square and 12 square. Right? So it is clearly less than 12 square. I'll take the lower one. 11. So my answer has to be 113 or 117. Okay, boil down. So we will check 115 square, which is 25 and 11 into 12. That is the next number, which is 132. I have 13225. Now 
one three two two five is greater than the actual number that we have. That means the answer should be less than one one five. It cannot be greater than one one five. So less than one one five is one one three. Our answer is hundred and thirteen. Done. I hope the square root part is clear, guys. And I can see that your power is increasing, lecture by lecture. Let's move on to cubes and cube roots.